Hey everybody, welcome to my video on repeated games and the Grim Trigger strategy. I am going to discuss what happens when two firms who would normally compete via Corno in a one stage game start interacting repeatedly. And we're going to find that when they do, it's possible to have collusion as a Nash equilibrium strategy. So let's lay out some preliminaries. We've got pi i is profit in time i. So if i equals 1, that's what happens today. i equals 2 is what happens tomorrow, and so on. And then we've got to ask the question, is a dollar next week just as good as a dollar today? And usually the answer is no. Uh, we tend to discount the future. And so we're going to have a discount factor that we will just call delta. Uh, this discount suggests that we value future dollars less than present dollars. So, let's get to it. Uh, to lay out this notation a little bit more carefully, in time period one, profits pi one. There's no discount on the present, and so the present value of present profit is just pi one. Time period two, profit is pi two. It's discounted by delta, which is some number between zero and one, by the way. And so the present value of the profit is delta pi two. Pi 3 in period 3, delta squared in period 2, sorry, delta squared in period 3, so you get delta squared pi 3, and then so on for the 4s. Uh, you'll notice we're doing a geometric discount, where it's always just times another delta, and so our delta in, that, in those rows is delta to the i minus 1 times pi i. So there's that. Now, in a game with n time periods, lifetime profit is pi 1, today's payoff, plus discounted tomorrow's payoff, plus discounted the next day's payoff, plus discounted the next day's payoff, and so on, which is sum from i equals 1 to the n, times delta to the i minus 1, times pi i. That will add all of the present valued profits for the entire game. So that's a big deal to us. So let's get a little scenario here. There's two firms, and they're competing in quantity or Corno competition. And if it was a one-stage game, the only Nash equilibrium is Corno. And I've got other videos on how to solve for how they behave in that situation. Collusion is not an equilibrium in the one-stage game. But if our game can go on and on, if we can treat it as infinitely repeated, which either means it's infinite or more likely it just means we don't know when it ends, so we have to act like it just keeps going and going, then collusion's possible. We can actually get Nash equilibrium strategies where we leave Corno behind and choose to collude. So this is important because it starts to show us a bit of what we see in real life when firms begin to exhibit cartel behavior. So here's where we're going to go from here. In my next video, I outline this grim trigger strategy, which is gives us the possibility for collusive equilibrium. And then I'll talk about the different payoffs that come from people following this strategy or people disobeying this strategy. And, and then in the next video after that, we'll talk about what makes for an actual equilibrium. So three short videos seemed better than th one really long one. So, hope this was helpful for you guys. If not, too bad. Thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you next time.